as you know I'm just visiting Tokyo to visit Tokyo Auto Salon but I'm dropping by my usual dealership here which is a, a Lexus dealer in Aoyama Tokyo and then lo and behold they have the new um, Lexus RX and what I want to do today is just give you a quick glimpse of the quality control because a lot of people are still asking me whether there's a difference between cars built in Japan versus cars built in North America. Now, generally speaking, especially for Lexus, I would say the level of quality for both um, North American made Lexus and Japan made Lexus are almost identical. But I will admit that it is not the same. And a prime example of that is this Lexus RX, which is all new. The interesting thing is that this one is still built in Japan. This is a Japanese made Lexus RX. And just last week, I spent some time looking at the Canadian made Lexus. That's where the North American market Lexus are built now in uh, Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And I was actually, generally speaking, pretty impressed with the quality of the Lexus built in Canada. But one thing I noticed as one potential issue, which appears to be a, a bit of a reoccurring theme for Lexus NX as well, is the back door. What I'm finding, at least in the Canadian-made Lexus RX, is I have to push it harder than the front door to close. Otherwise, every time I try to close, it kind of like almost closed, but not, not quite. So I was curious to see if the Japanese-made Lexus RX is any better. And you know what? To my surprise, it's better. So here I could just literally just push it very lightly, almost to the point where I'm barely pushing it and it closes completely shut, fully, fully closed with very little effort. You can also tell that um, it lines up perfectly. It's, there's not an, even a, a 0.1 millimeter difference in terms of the height between these two, and the gap is almost perfect. Whereas the Canadian made Lexus RX, still very well made and still high quality paint job and body work overall, had a problem with the door and I was wanted to make sure that it wasn't me so I had a um, chance to look at three or four Canadian made Lexus RX and kept closing the front door and the back door and every time the back door wouldn't close when I use the same effort to close the front door compared to the back door and funny enough there's exact same issue with uh, Lexus NX um, that I drove many times as a press vehicle. And even uh, some other Toyota cars has a problem sometime with this, what I call the perfect fit of the doors, which is always very difficult to do. Um, so I guess to answer the question, is there much difference or any difference between Japanese made Lexus and North American made Lexus? Well, I think functionally speaking and practically speaking, no because it's not as if the Canadian-made Lexus has more defects, for example. Uh, and it's not like they're less reliable. So practically speaking, they're almost identical. But if you're asking me in terms of subtle things, uh, like, for example, the layer of the, the, the gloss of the paint, the consistency of the orange peel that you see from front to back, and in this case, how easy it is to close front or especially the back door there is definitely a difference i would say this one requires about 10 percent less effort than the canadian made one the front door in the canadian made rx were not bad actually not all that different this one's still a little bit easier so maybe this one is five percent less effort than the canadian rx but this one 10 percent less effort to close than the canadian RX. I also noticed in terms of looking at the gap on the rear hatch, which is always harder to align perfectly and to get it right between that side and this side, I noticed the Japanese made RX are just a tiny bit more consistent uh, in terms of the gap alignment and gap uh, levelness. And I know most of you guys are wondering who cares about the gap, who cares about the alignment. Well, the reason why this matters is because how the body comes together in terms of integration, alignment, and the gap overall is a good reflection 
of the overall quality of manufacturing. As a person with more than 35 years of experience working in manufacturing for the auto industry, this is one of the first things that we always do when trying to figure out reliability and overall quality of the car is to see how the body comes together and how well they are aligned. If the body is done right, then there's a good chance that uh, the quality control measures and the quality inspection is done well for all of the model and it reflects everything else in the car. And that's why we always do um, body check, paint check, and alignment check because it just provides that standard by which you measure everything against. And once again, this Lexus RX built in Japan have just a beautiful paint. You can see every pigmentation, every reflection, very consistent, very little orange peel. And you just cannot get a better paint job than this. Even if you compare it to cars costing two, three, four, five times, maybe 10 times more, you're not gonna get a better paint job in uh, Royce Royce than this. This is absolutely first class. And uh, even if you look at the interior, I would say there's less difference between the Canadian made RX and the Japan made Lexus in terms of the interior. But where the biggest difference is just the texture of the plastic in terms of the, you know, this is slightly matte finish. There's always a little bit of difference in terms of the gloss and the matte and the texture between um, a Canadian or North American supplier and a Japanese supplier. Somehow the Japanese made ones always have this, just a perfect balance of the matte finish. And it literally looks like a real leather. If you look at the texture, it's hard to tell on the phone. Um, but uh, whereas the North American made one, this one is always has a little bit more gloss because one, maybe North American prefer a little bit more shiny plastic. But secondly, they just can't ever seem to match the same level of this matte finish as the Japanese suppliers. I would say uh, it's not a functional issue. It's not a reliability issue. It's because it's aesthetic issue, but there's no question for a trained engineer like myself, with a trained eye, I can tell you that the texture here is hard to beat if it's a Japan made product. Uh, Sometimes also the stitching here, the stitching can be a little bit dif difference between Japanese made and the North American made. Uh, you can tell like this one, the stitching is perfect and also it doesn't catch your hand. Sometimes the North American made ones, the stitching is a little bit rough to your finger. That's a bit of a common issue with the Lexus actually, but this one, you can tell it's just super smooth, really well done and very, very high quality. Um, otherwise, you know, Canadian made or even the US made Lexus models are just really well made and generally speaking, no issues. I have no hesitation buying those models, but somehow if I had a choice between Japanese made and North American made ones, well, I would still pick a Japanese made Lexus model, which is one of the reasons why I bought the Lexus GX. Still made in Tara factory, and it's a perfect, perfect example of a perfect Lexus. Now, I will admit, generally speaking, by the way, I do really like the Lexus um, RX interior. Gorgeous um, material selection between wood and plastic, combination of a glossy black. And it's a little bit dark here, but really, really well made. It gives you that a feel of a really upscale models. Uh, and even the door, if you look at the material, it's a little bit different from the North American spec, but you can look at the seam here and the stitching. And this thing is really extraordinarily well built. Um, you know, I drove the Lexus RX a couple times now, and um, I, I talked about it uh, in the past. I plan to do a full review once I get the car in my hand for a week as a press vehicle, but I haven't gotten that yet. That should be coming, and I'm really looking forward to uh, talking about it. Yes, it's four-cylinder now and not a six-cylinder, and that is still a disappointment for some of you guys as the market and industry moves toward a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. There's not much we can do about that. I think in terms of performance and overall drivability, it's, it's not a problem because the turbocharged 
has a really good uh, overall power and torque delivery, but as you can imagine, it doesn't quite feel the same between V6 and turbocharged Ford. So there's not much they can do about that um, because the inherent character of a four cylinder versus six cylinder car. So that's all I want to talk about for the Lexus RX in terms of Japan versus North America. And my take on whether there is a subtle difference between the two, yes, there is, but is it enough to say which one is the only one you should buy? Well, not really, because both are reliable long-term, and besides, you don't have a choice. You can't just go up to the dealer and say, I want to buy Japan-made Lexus RX. That's not possible. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed my videos on a brief take on my Lexus while I'm in Japan. A lot more video coming your way. Hopefully you can subscribe, make some comments, and let me know what you think of the video. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you very much.